all right. At the beginning of this year, right, I was determined that I was going to live my life differently. And part of that different type of living was I was going to have to pay attention to how I did things and then be disciplined in how I did that. So every morning, for the first 60 days of the year, I would work out with my wife. We would go hard at this insanity workout. And we would go at it, go at it every day. Six days a week we were doing this thing. At the end of the 60 days, I didn't want to stop, but I didn't want to do that anymore. I wanted to be a little more relaxed, if you will. Then I started going to the gym. Four days a week I go. And out of every day before I start hitting the weights, what I would do is I would go in the basketball court and I would shoot hoops. Wow. I would just shoot. I would just try to shoot every day. And as I, as I noticed I was shooting, my, my shot was getting a little better. And it made me start thinking about when I was uh, in high school. And I wasn't a very, very good of a basketball player. But I realized if you wanted to be good at basketball, you had to spend time in the gym taking shots. There's a lot of people who go to church and they want to be good Christians, but they don't want to spend any time doing what's necessary to build spiritual discipline. And spiritual discipline just means you can't do everything you think you want to do. The Apostle Paul talks about in the first Corinthians, ninth chapter, he says you can't run like everybody else runs. You know, there are people who run races and they're running just to get a prize. But if you consider that what you desire is heaven, you can't run like people who are just looking for regular stuff. You got to get a whole next level of spiritual discipline. And he says, well, part of the thing he says is that you got to get like sports people got to do. They got to spend time in the gym taking shots. Um, you got to spend time pressing weights. You got to spend time working your body. The same thing, you got to spend time in working that spiritual life. You got to spend time in God's word. This is a Kindle. I got it on here. You got to spend time in God's word. You can put it on your Kindle. Some folk got it on their they phone. That's a Metro card. That's not on the phone. You know, you could do online. It, there's so many avenues that we have now to not only get God's word in us, but to keep practicing God's word. Then in the morning you get up, you do your, your spiritual calisthenics, if you will. That would be your devotion. You know, those are the things that we got to do if we want to build ourselves up, if it, as it were, to be good Christians. Not just the nominal or the regular dude just hanging out that like to watch a game occasionally in, in the gym. But if you want to be like that Kobe Bryant level of spirituality, that joker gets in before the game starts and he stays after the game ends. If you want to get in this game, what you doing?